Steve Mazzagatti ends it. We have got a new champion in the featherweight division. Well, the young man from Brazil who has a lot of spring in his step at 23 years of age. Frank, we've talked about this fight being speed versus power, but he has speed that you cannot duplicate in a training session. There's very few guys fighting right now in MMA that are as quick and as powerful as Jose Aldo. But when you throw with intentions and put your weight behind stuff and you're still moving that fast, that's dangerous. And there he is, Mike Brown, a very talented fighter. He's shown to be such a powerful fighter. And he just doesn't really ever make mistakes. He's just, he's very patient. He sits there, waits for you to make a mistake. And if you make one mistake and he lands that right hand, he drops people. If you are able to survive it, usually the onslaught that comes after that, you're not able to. And it's Aldo who comes with the first big uppercut. He ate an overhand right, though, afterwards. Remember, both men have identical reaches at 70 inches. Oh, and the big kick. Difficult for both men to duplicate what their opponent would break. I thought that was a mistake for Jose Aldo to be so content to get pushed up against the cage like that. But he was able to push off the champ. Where does Mike Brown go to find someone as fast as Jose Aldo? Right there. And where does Jose Aldo go to find someone as powerful as Mike Brown? Big kick from Aldo, but Brown had his hands in defense. It's just quick, right? He is snapping those off. Devastating knees of Jose Aldo. Oh, look at that combination. And Brown stays momentarily. He grabs a single. Mike Brown Third. would be wise to possibly get Aldo on the ground. The problem is getting him there. Jose Aldo has a great, great takedown defense. Look at this. He's really stuffing off the single. Just came and gave him a knee. He's got the body lock. Look at the scrambling yeah. Jose Aldo. Yeah. I mean, great balance. Mike Brown locked on his waist right now, and he's having a hard time getting him down. Great fight so far as we approach one minute to go here in this title fight. Oh, switch kick. It looked like he was looking for the knee, and when Mike Brown didn't fully commit to the shot, he kind of just extended the leg and threw it uh, into a, a kick to the body. But it's a five-round fight. Ray is looking to go ahead and see how the first round feels. That flying knee again. It landed the body. That was... Under 10 seconds to go here in round number one. And we will see you round two when we return to Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, second round. Bring it on. Come on. Here we go with round number two. Mike Brown in the white trunks. Jose Aldo in the black trunks. And Aldo with that calm demeanor. Brown now coming forward with a little more determination. Spinning back kick comes from Aldo. Defensive posture. And Mike Brown's trying to get the shot again. Look at it again the, uh, the takedown defense of Jose Aldo. Just, we've always talked about his striking ability, his offensive ability. But you got to wonder if Mike Brown, the champ, can't put Jose Aldo on his back in this division, who can? Right. Brown is in trouble as Aldo goes to the mount. Now he takes the back. And we have not seen the champion in this situation before. Jose Aldo now is just teeing off on Mike Brown. Brown trying to survive. And that's it. Steve Mazzagatti ends it. We have got a new champion in the featherweight division. Jose Aldo. Too much speed, too much power on the night for Mike Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. One minute, 20 seconds of round number two. Stoppage due to strikes for your winner by TKO victory and new WEC featherweight champion of the world.
Jose! 